<laughs> Morning folks, Andy here and welcome back to the boat build. We're just doing the engine uh, bearers today. So we've got some steel here and it's actually a cut off from the gunnels on the side. It's, a, it's not exactly right, I've got a slight, it's got a tape on it but it still makes a, the right thing. So basically we're going to be making something like that. So it's a, that's the, the long pieces there, the frame, the two sides. We've got a front with a radius cut out on it there for the prop shaft and that to go through. A plate at the back, a couple of gussets on the side. On there that's the the details for the engine and it gives you the hole centers for the um, for the mounting brackets but we aren't drilling those till it's in the boat and we've put the engine in and we've got it in the right position we don't know how far forward or back it needs to be yet so but we do know the 430 that way and the 425 across so I've set those uh, engine bearers so the whole centers in the middle of that uh, top flange so then once the engines dropped in we can mark them out and drill them in place just to uh, blow them through with road to broach so that's what we're on with I've got the, some plate marked out so I'm going to cut that out and some gussets and we'll get it welded up right so that's the sides are they going and so that's the depth for this plate and then it comes around here and then we taper it off up here cut it up there and cut it up there and well we'll do two of these and then one will have a radius out there for the shaft to go over so we're going to get that set up now with angle grinder and we'll get that cut out That's the first one cut out. We need another one of those, and as you can see, the teak side that's where the bear is actually go. They will be welded on there. So it beefs it all up, makes it a solid frame. So we'll get another one done. That's that then. We've got the plates cut out. We've got two gussets in the middle of them and then we've got two end plates so we'll get them fettled up and uh, get this mill scale off and that and they can be welded up then. I forgot one job hunter. I've not done radius around here, so we're gonna mark that out and cut that out.
Right, we've got all the bits now. So we're going to them all tacked up. So we're going to back down in black hole of cow cutting out bottom there. And uh, we'll get the welder on and get them together. So we're going to get these welded up now. Just get my head put on and weld them. We'll get them tacked up and then we'll drop it in and have a look what we've got. that now ready to go in and have a look. Oh. Now just give that a brush out in there. There's a lot of debris and grinding dust in there off it, put its skin tanks in etc. So we'll get this on the top now and have a look. So that's where that goes like that. The two chalk lines on the top of the hole centres on the width for the engine so we'll drill, drill four holes in that eventually to um, seat the engine mounting brackets on and the engine but I'm just wondering if I should weld it up or not if it may need cutting down or something I'm not not entirely sure. I'll have a look at the engine. I'll measure the engine, and uh, we'll see what it looks like size-wise. I'll look at the engine and have a measure and that. So this is going to be fine. It's a uh, spot-on size. So got it all braced up now. Corners. So we'll finish as wet and. Uh, We'll get some weld on it. So that's another job done. <laughs> that done that, that's welded up. We'll just get a fettle, get the dirt spatter and all that and uh, it's ready to go in. But we're not going to physically totally weld it in yet. We're going to just tack it in. Just in case we should have to move it for some reason. I don't think we will but I'd rather make sure that we don't have to. So we'll get it just uh, tacked in and that's it. But that's it for today. Uh, Hope you're enjoying the vlog. So that's the engine mount 
or the engine base made and then the rubber mounts go on the top which take the vibration out of the engine and what have you so anyway so if you are enjoying vlogs why don't you like and subscribe and uh, come and join me next time alright, ta-ra!